Chronicles of Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate. I think I might be getting this wrong, though. Oh, yeah, I think this is Part 9, actually, but I'm not I'm not sure. The video will uh, tell you what part it is. Save. Let's grind Zeria up a little bit more. Because I think she needs to be a little more... Let's check out her stats. Uh, I think I'll grind her up to level 3, and then I'll... I'll probably be level 4 by then, then I'm going to go ahead and... Face off. Yeah, she needs to be a little more powerful so that she can one OHK some of these uh, smaller creatures. Then again, uh, Magus does have that uh, uh, strength crystal thing attached, so eh. those battles went on a little longer. The music is freaking awesome. So while we're just grinding pointlessly, well not pointlessly, but you know, grinding without anything to talk about, uh, talk about gaming recently, well, not, not, you know, gaming news. I don't do gaming news for a reason, but, um, you know, just gaming, my, my gaming, the stuff that I've been doing. Let's see. Well, we've been playing uh, Castlevania Rondo of Blood. A, I like it. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's not it's not as fluid as Super as Super Four. I mean, I prefer that by far. Uh, Super Four has got some really good whip controls, and so far, none of them, aside from Super Four, have uh, really lived up to. Uh, Simon's Quest. I mean, I really like Simon's Quest, and it's uh, kind of weird, but that was the you know, it's the second Castle Castlevania game I played. I was playing uh, Dawn of Sorrow on my DS. Did that for a while, but uh, the charger on my DS died, so I can't play that anymore. And, um, let's see, I, I've of course been playing this 
for a couple of days now. Um, I actually went through and I spent like the entirety of Sunday messing around with Hypercam settings, trying to get it to work, trying to get it to look right, and uh, you know, just you know, look decent. Because I was uh, trying to record um, Final Fantasy VI with it, and it looked horrible. I mean, the animation and the whenever it panned, it uh, looked really choppy, and whenever it um, whenever there were, there was like animated sprites, it uh, looked heavily pixelated. I was figuring. Well, I've seen some footage of this. I saw the trailer for the game. Part of the reason why I um, was even interested in it was the trailer. It, was, it had some really awesome music, and um, and for me, music can sometimes make an entire game. But uh, yeah, I saw the trailer. I figured, and I was looking at it. It was very similar to Final Fantasy VI, so I. I'm going to use Final Fantasy VI as a, uh, you know, a test for this. But, uh, you know, there's like, there's less, um, there's no, there's very little enemy sprite animation in this. And I actually talked to the vice president of the company, John Sierra, about this when I saw the trailer. I was like, hey, uh, why are the, why is there no sprite animation? And on the um, on the enemies, and he said, "Well, we figured it would be better if we had more detailed sprites as opposed to animated sprites." And hang it, and I, yeah, I can see that. I mean, the sprites look beautiful, and um, I noticed this was an issue in a lot of uh, older RPGs. Not even necessarily going for the more detailed sprites, but just for uh, uh, non-animated sprites. Because um, Pokemon Red, I've actually I played Pokemon Red on the Game Boy Color, and it didn't have animated sprites. You know, it was on the Game Boy Color. You can expect that. But then I played uh, one of the Game Boy Advance games. And uh, it didn't have any sprite animation, and I, yeah, it looks nice, but they didn't have, like, even Final Fantasy um, VI level of animation where they just um, did something. They just attack, effect, whatever, you know? I mean, this is uh, obviously miles ahead of Pokemon. But, um, the weird thing about, the weird thing about it was, though, um, a couple of years ago, I think about a year ago, I got a hold of a copy of Pokemon Pearl for the Nintendo DS, and, um, and it didn't have sprite animation, and, and it was like, yeah, the sprites look nice, but, you know, this, the series has been going on for 15 years for like more than 15, 16 years, like, you know, it's, the series is, you know, just uh, slightly older than I am, and, um, and I was just thinking, it's a little bit outrageous that, I mean, I can see a game like, this is an independent game, I can see using more heavily detailed sprites. I mean, these are beautiful looking sprites. But for high profile title like Pokemon, of all things, it shouldn't have taken them until Pokemon Black and White to get a, uh, to get sprite animation. And yeah, it looked, it was, it was less detailed, but, uh, it looked a whole lot nicer because it actually added some life to the game. And it's like, with this, there's, uh, you know, there's actual 
there's some tactile feet, not tactile, but these, you know, visible feedback. Pokemon, when they haven't, they didn't really go beyond what they had for uh, the Game Boy Color games. And, and like, the Final Fantasy remake on the uh, PlayStation, unless I'm mistaken, and didn't have uh, sprite animation either. And, um, you know, y you can call it being you can call it whatever you want. You can call it being um, more, you know, accurate to the uh, original title. But I mean, this is this was SquareSoft. This is SquareSoft we were talking about. Oh, uh, sorry. They uh, they've got a large enough budget that they could, you know, literally do whatever they want. There is no knowledge that is not power. And now I'm a Lucha. Potion. Can I take this? Can I take this? Can I take this? No. Okay. Well, anyways, yeah, I can, like I said, I can see, like, earlier installments on less powerful systems, like the Game Boy, being uh, less less animated, less detailed, but, um, you gotta remember, Final Fantasy VI was ported to the Game Boy Advance, well, I guess technically it was remade for the Game Boy Advance, and it, and it had the same kind of animation that the, uh, Mm. Excuse me. That the uh, original had uh, Chrono Trigger had it, um, and that was made before the uh, Final Fantasy remake for the PlayStation. Now, where's the woman? Where's the woman? Uh, she should be right here. Oh, thank you so much, Emperor. You do not know oh, how much this means to me. Allow me to give you this reward. Please take it. You've received the broadsword and 300 silver coins. Or whatever that stands for. Yes. Stay in coins. Let me... Go ahead. Yeah, that's better. And that's better, so we got... Upgrade... Save. Might as well check out the shop, I suppose. See if there's anything worth buying. What's in here? Bonded One Stables. Hey there, Zeria. Listen, maybe you can settle this argument for us. I would not if I were you. I got this mage just don't worry. I can settle all of your arguments with Ezra quite easily, Krista. Ready? The answer is, it's Magus's fault. <sighs> okay, I'm not even sure who these people are. I'm not even sure if that's supposed to be a man or a woman. I'm not... I mean, these sprites are a little bit androgynous. Krista. Mm, okay, that's likely a female name, but I can't remember. This is like, um, oh, here's the shop. Um, yeah, we're we're reading Protector of the Small. My family and I are reading uh, the Protector of the Small series. We just got done with uh, the, I think it was book three, and we started on book four, and we. Um, well, I 
Might as well buy another shield for her. And we got better ones as it is. And get one for Zeria. Anyways, uh, and the main the main problem we're having is remembering who all the characters are because they've got these weird names. And we and before this we were reading um, Tamara Pierce's other books, the um, the Circle of Magic series, the the uh, Song of the Lioness series, and the. Uh, whatever one has Virality and Sarasri in it. And the thing is that a lot of the... A lot of the countries and a lot of the, the people have uh, weird and similar sounding names. And that, that's kind of an issue at times in remembering who all is who. And uh, it also doesn't help that some of the characters sound like they're from D&D. &D. Is my dad and I play D Dungeons and Dragons on Wednesdays, and I was, uh... And, um, well, the thing is that they, uh, a lot of the character names in the, um, books we've been reading that aren't Dungeons and Dragons, uh, sound like they are, you know, close to Dungeons and Dragons. Like, there's a thing called Raven's Helm, I think, in the Circle of Magic series. I, I might be wrong, but I'm not sure. Anyways... And, uh, yeah, and then there's a guy named Raven, Ravengard in the, uh, in the, let's see, I think it was the, the last campaign of D&D &D that I was playing in. Because since then, I've been, I've been the DM, you know, just to, because we were bouncing from table to table, uh, at a, at a bizarre pace, like almost every, almost every session, every, from every session to every uh, new encounter season, we would um, hop between tables, and uh, one one night we were left without a table. And then at the end, we were, the end of all that, we were just like, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and be the dungeon master because, you know, I got to have some kind of stable environment and, uh, you know, a stable environment to play in because it's a little bit jarring to have to switch from table to table, dungeon master to dungeon master. City State of Ilion. Isis, Hanari, we must speak with both with the both of you immediately. It's good to see both of you. Unfortunately, we're not here on the social visit. Father, Zeria, it's surprising to see you here without sending prior word of your arrival. And I gather there is something amiss. Yes, I sense you have something troubling to say to tell us. Upon crossing over the bridge, we encountered a most interesting creature. His name is Zexor, apparently a servant of King Gasson of Aldris. He is intent on destroying us. What? Hmm. What do you think, Isis? I am not sure. Well, this does not seem to fit the pattern we have been, we have seen, especially since we were threatened as well. Come again? Ilian was threatened too? Tell us. Only a few days ago, a delegation from Valdris arrived. They informed us that if Elian did not form an alliance with them, they would destroy us. We told them we needed some time to think about it. Naturally, we have no intention of allying with them in anything. Valdris is indeed preparing for war against us. We suspect they are plotting to take over this entire landmass, and perhaps even the Ring Kingdoms. They would find our resistance to that quite considerable. Are they insane? They would have to have an awful lot of power to try to take on, on the entire Myri territories, never mind us and the Rim Kingdoms. We thought the same thing. 
Hence why I think it is prudent for Isis to join you and head south to Zelonia well, to warn them of the threat. Yes, I can lead us through the, the Zelonian mountains without much trouble. You are always welcome to travel with us, Isis. Well, Magus, what do you think? Your logic is sound. Let us depart at once. I shall assist you with my magic, then. Party! And I could make an extremely dumb joke right now, but I don't feel like it. May the past of the Shidai may bless your journey, everyone. Isis, my beloved, please come back to me. And I will come back to you, Inari. I promise this. Take care of Zeria while I while we are gone. I love you. And I love you too. Father, Zeria, I charge you with my wife's safe return. We are not, Inari. She is a very capable woman and we will be by her side. We'll bring her home to you. Who and Zeria, you can count on it. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. My, uh, thank you, milady. Zeria, are you actually blushing? Uh, no, of course not. Let's get going. Uh, okay, so this is apparently the land of the Amazons. Except during... Except being written by... Whoever was writing it during... Uh... Amazon's attack. Most travelers who meet their sovereigns, especially men, are inclined more often are often more inclined to speak with sovereign Isis than sovereign Nari due to the latter's darker nature. Well, she is my daughter, so Potion Blah 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 I'm filling space if you want, if you're noticing. Might as well check that out. And see if anything interesting is for sale. Well, they sell exactly the same thing as everybody else in the kingdom. Why should I think otherwise? Hmm. Cures negate darkness. Hmm. I think we're good for now. Yep, that's an old man with a giant Eggman mustache. Isis can't use a staff. I bet you you can't, uh... Move them to the back. Move uh, people to the back like you can in Final Fantasy three. Let's explore the rest of the palace, and then I think I might. I'm probably gonna have to call this quits for tonight. Have you not noticed how androgynous Magus is looking today? <laughs> Might as well save right now. Oh wait, I already saved. I don't need to. You know, the, um, the what's his name? The what's the name? The what the that? The... Oh, come on. Uh, come on, come on. Who are the guys that Ganondorf descended from the, the pirates in Majora's Mask? The, um, the... Ooh, the, uh... Gerudos, yeah, the Gerudos. This is like... This is like the Gerudos land. No, 
nothing, 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 nothing. Oh wait, no, this isn't exactly like the uh, Gerudo Valley. Damn, it's amazing what people just throw away. Finding a potions in the freaking trash. Why are there thrones everywhere? No, who cares? Eh. <laughs> If you say so, Wonder One. Okay, then. How do you know she wasn't hitting on me? May just looks pretty... He dang pretty. Me too. <laughs> because I'm the Emperor, baby. What? You listen here, old hag. I'll have you know that just because Zeria wants to be a warrior does not mean she wants war. Take that back, you old wretch. I do not care. Young ones like Ziara are the reason why countries like Valdris want war. We should just get rid of them and be done with it. You stupid, vile, old bitch. I'm going to make you regret you ever spoke those words. Well, these chronicles are a lot darker than I expected. <laughs> oh, it's like that, is it? No thanks. Grandfather, Aunt, Z Aunt Zeria, what are you doing here? Why is Mother Isis with you? Greetings, little warrioress. We are leaving here, here soon with Isis for something rather important, so... Okay. I had a conversation with, um... Uh, John Sierra from Kazara Studios. And, uh, he explained to me that Magus is actually a lot older than he looks, and that, uh, 30 years have actually passed, not, uh, 10. And Magus is actually 48. How is, how does he already have grandchildren? Oh, never mind, never mind. I mean, it's not per, it's not entirely implausible. I mean, he was 18 when the game started. He could have already had two kids. <laughs> Hello, Ziara. We just came in for a few drinks before we headed out. Your mom's in the throne room if you want to see her. You behave yourself now, Ziara. I will turn on home to you and mom soon. Okay, grandfather, I'm going to be a strong warrior like you and Aunt Zia Ziria one day. And I know you shall be, Ziara. Farewell for now, my little warrioress. You keep on training, and we will come by more often. Farewell, Ziara. Ah, yay, yay.
Just try out some combat. You know, it's not like an entire land full of... Uh. Warrior Lesbians doesn't... isn't, uh... kind of hot, but... I'd prefer it if they weren't actively hostile. <laughs> Granted, it's not like I'm going to take military action against them for it, but... You know, it's just kind of, uh... Kind of insulting that they didn't hit on on somebody who's uh, as androgynous as Magus is. Uh, I, I'm trying to be funny, but I'm not. Magus isn't really that androgynous. He's just, he's you know, he's sort of like, you know, he's he's a, a pretty boy. Well, you know, um. Sort of like, you know, Draco Malfoy, uh, the, what's his name, Tom Hilston, the guy who plays Loki. Um. Although, to be perfectly honest, these faces that they use seem to all use the same, like, the same template, and they, uh don't look all that different. I mean, Magus is, uh, in the real world, could probably be easily mistaken for a girl. Um, Best of luck to you all. Well, let's save and continue tomorrow, shall we? See you later with. See you tomorrow with more Chronicles of a Dark Lord, Episode One: Tides of Fate.